God understands. He is your friend, and I am his angel. What's happening? You could say that you're receiving a love letter from your creator, the God of love, the God who is love. The truth has its own sound, don't you think? I'm afraid. Ah, don't be afraid. God loves you so much. He knows how many lonely nights you've spent waiting for your husband to come home. He knows the longing in your heart for romance, the excitement of new love that you think is missing in your marriage now. He knows that you gave up your dream to support your husband's and now you feel left behind. He knows all of this. There's nothing about a woman's heart that God doesn't understand. We all come from God. He made you, Ellen, and he made Greg. And do you know what? He made you for each other. Why am I so unhappy? Because you expect your husband to compete with a memory. The memory of someone who's not a better man than your husband. Denny is able to write down on paper the words that your husband has written in his heart. He just can't express them to your satisfaction. But is that wrong for me to want that from Greg, to, to want the romance and, and the love letters? But when did you last write him a love letter? Love is not a line you draw in the sand, Ellen, and then dare the other person to step over. Love is not a feeling that comes and goes. Love is a choice. And God wants you to make that choice.